It is a great day to be a UW alum. I'm Jack Tennant, Executive Director of the University of Wyoming Alumni Association, and this month we're covering the American Heritage Center, which is located right here inside the Centennial Complex. Now, the American Heritage Center is one of the top 10 largest non-governmental archives in the country. They have over 100,000 cubic feet of documents with over 6,000 individual collections. If you're wondering how big that is, they could literally fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool with documents. So let's go inside and check it out and meet our director, Paul. So we're here with the director of the American Heritage Center, Paul Flesher. Paul has been the director for five years and has been a professor at the university for over 30 years. Paul, yes. tell us a little bit about the American Heritage Center. The American Heritage Center collects historical materials. Uh, our main focus, of course, has been the American West, whether locally here in Laramie or across the state of Wyoming or across the Western region. But we also collect nationally, whether it's uh, extractive geology, uh, the history of popular culture, film, radio, TV, lots of Hollywood, and uh, journalism or aviation. We have some important collections here that people come from around the world to visit. I'd like to introduce you here to Rhiannon McLean. Rhiannon has been one of the three student curators who helped research and design this Stan Lee exhibit called Stan Lee Beyond the Book. So tell me, what was your favorite part of putting this exhibit together? I think I really enjoyed the first part of just getting to dig into the papers. Um, the curation of putting everything on the walls was really fascinating, but there was just something really fun about being surrounded by folders and folders and folders of material and uncovering what this exhibit would turn into. And in that process, we uncovered his relationship with the University of Wyoming. Um, and there's something really special about the connection that this institution has with him. Um, and it makes us, I think, feel very connected to him. So my favorite part was, was really almost investigating those papers to figure out what this was going to turn into. Do you think you got to know Stan? I think so. I, I, I almost too much. I think I, I now know way too much about him, um, his personality, uh, who he was, and I have a greater respect uh, for, for him as a creative and as a human being. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to showcase this part of campus. The work that you guys do is really incredible. So until next time, go, go Pokes! Pokes!